Once a part is defined in AutoCAD MEP, you can edit different parts of the model. Two key items you may need to edit include the 2D blocks for plan or elevation views and the default values for the scheduling data. Let's take a look at how we do this. In our current drawing, take a look at the two pumps. Both are base mounted, but the base is different in each example. Select the smaller pump. On the Equipment ribbon, General Panel, choose Edit Style. From the View tab, browse through the different view names until you reach the two-line top view. Under View Block, note the name of the block. 4 by 4 inch base mounted pump, two-line, top, U8. We want to edit this block to change how the pad looks in the model. Select OK to exit the dialog. Type in BE on the command line and press Enter to open the block editor. Scroll down until you find the block, select it, and then click OK. Once you're in the block, you can edit the line work as needed to make the item appear the way you want in any view that uses the block. In this case, the top view showing two lines for piping. Erase the lines representing the rails. We don't need these if the pump is sitting on a housekeeping pad. When finished, close the block editor, saving the changes. Next, change the display configuration. And note how the block shows up differently. You can add or remove detail as needed to show the pump the way you expect it to be seen in plan views. Change to the connectors tab. If you revise the 3D model of the block and need to move the connector, you can do that right here. So if the inlet side of the pump is raised an inch, you can change the connection point Z elevation and add the inch. You can also change the description. For example, change inlet to suction. Once an MV part is created in a drawing, the style is now located in the drawing. You can edit the scheduling data that applies to all examples of the part to simplify how your schedules are defined. Go to the Style Manager. Select the Documentation Objects section and then pick Property Set Definitions. Select the MV Part Pump Style Definition. On the Definition tab, add a manual definition. Call it Electrical. Leave the description and type as is. Change the format to uppercase. Select OK to save the changes and leave the Style Manager. Pick the pump and then select Edit Style. On the General tab, select Property Sets. Under Electrical, type in 480V-3P backslash 50A to represent the voltage, number of poles, and load. Select OK when finished. Now the electrical engineer can see this information when the part is selected. Pick the pump you just changed and click Properties. On the Extended Data tab, note the electrical data. Now press Escape to clear the selection. Pick the other pump and go back to Properties. We see that this is now a different style, so the data only applies to all examples of the first pump style. When you select a larger pump and edit this style, you can change the property sets here as well. But because the definition is applied by style, then all multi-view parts have this data available, as long as the property set is assigned to the style. Take your most common parts and add them to a template. Then edit the styles to help make your scheduling faster. You can also edit this in the original catalog drawing as well, but start in your template and work up from there.